guys, welcome back to my channel everybody. How you doing? Today I am going to be talking about my experience dating girls and what it's like as a female bisexual. What happens when you try to meet up with girls or when you try to talk to girls on dating apps and what it's like and all that. Now that I have some experience, I can share with you guys. <laughs> if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Nikki Sarin. How you doing? Welcome. There are girls on dating apps who literally will swipe right on me and match with me. And they're like, oh, I'm just here for friends. And I'm like, you do realize there's an actual category for Bumble that's called Bumble BFF for friends and it's like it's those type of people who are really confused I think like they just don't know that they're in the wrong section of Bumble and if they like girls go on Bumble dating and search for women but if you're looking for friends go for a Bumble BFF so then like you don't confuse other women or other men for instance are men on Bumble BFF? I don't know if there's a Bumble BFF for men as well is there? I really hope so because that'd be cool as shit and then there's those type of people on Bumble who are, girls can relate to I'm pretty sure it's so frustrating whenever I match with a girl there's no description of anything of saying they're looking for a threesome or that they have a boyfriend and then later on I find out in the conversation that they're looking for a threesome or they have a boyfriend. Why don't you mention it in the motherfucking bio so then I don't have to waste my time swiping right on you, us smashing and then going with conversation and then exchanging numbers and then come to find out you have a boyfriend or you're looking for a threesome. And I really respect those who at least have in the description they're looking for a fucking unicorn. So then I'll just swipe left on your ass because I don't want nothing to do with you and your boyfriend but I just want your pretty face. Okay, there was a date I had. It was like for brunch or something. Really cute girl. She was basically like exploring women and I already know that basically like I like women. I don't really need to explore, explore and see if I like women, but I guess she was at that stage still that she didn't know if she really liked women, but she wanted to try it out. And I was just like, yeah, I no, I don't want to wait that long to see if you like women. Like, I just don't want to be in that awkward stage where I'm like, okay, can I go for the kiss? Can I do that? Because what if she doesn't really like it? Or what if she really doesn't like women? I don't want to go through that paranoia thinking where I'm like, oh shit. What if she just wants to be friendly? What if she just wants to be friends? And when I'm looking for a girl today, I don't want to be just friends. Like, I want to do more than just being friendly. You know what I mean? She was super nice, but it wasn't going to happen because I knew in the back of my mind that she definitely doesn't know what she really wants. And I definitely didn't want to just be friends. So that's one of my experiences, but also a really good one. Another really fun experience I had was a girl who was super pretty. She looked like a model, beautiful, even prettier in person. And right away we got drinks at a bar. It was like a bar slash club type of thing. Great experience once again. Like all these experiences that I met up, like with the girls I met up with were like 100% great by the way. Like none of them were bad. It's just so much easier to meet up with girls though. They're just so much more easy to talk to. They're more likely to open up to you because obviously we're women. We easily trust each other. I'm so glad I like women. <laughs> We're talking and we get a few drinks in and I've never had a girl like this was the first time where I made out with a girl in public never done that so that was a whole new experience for me so this girl was bold as fuck like i wasn't gonna make the move to be honest because i was pretty nervous i wasn't sure if she really wanted to i don't know her vibe still but i don't know her bluntly she's like want to make out and i was like oh hell yeah bitch the fuck so we're dancing and we're making out a lot at the dance floor making out a lot different spots of the bar we went to another club and we made out some more over there and when you see two girls making out you get an audience a lot of men were staring at us for fucking multiple reasons all of these guys were just like yeah we definitely gave people an audience that night it was getting pretty sensual it was getting a little hot in there you know no guy zone that night is just us girls having a good ass time and the last really cool story i immediately was attracted to this girl and we flirted a lot she was telling me how she had threesomes with men and women how she's dated women had sex with women i was like yes and she was getting very handsy on me which was yes girl touch me fuck me literally she was being very flirty telling me how sexy i am and i was like whoo uh, she was putting her hand on my leg, rubbing me and being very flirty in the bar. I was like, wow. And then she told me how she had a strap on dildo back at her place and that she wanted to fuck me with it. And I couldn't say yes because I was on my period. And I'm like, really? Like the one week, finally, I meet a girl that's super cool. The one time where a girl actually wants to fuck me really, really bad. I'm on my period. And I was about to get it on that night, but I couldn't. By the way, I had a girl eat me out until I came 
game. It's not really a big story time to be honest. Like it's not really more to talk about than that. It's just like I had someone spontaneously eat my pussy and made me come a lot. I licked her boobs, she licked mine, sucked on my nipples, and then she full on ate me the fuck out. And I couldn't go down on her even though I badly wanted to because she was on her period. As she ate me out, it was incredible. And I've never had anyone that licked my nipple and bite my nipple to have it feel so good because usually when someone does that to me it just feels like eh but this girl when she did it to me I for the first time had like a boob gasm what you call it it was just so sensual and so hot and it felt amazing yeah that was my first time I had a girl eat my pussy out but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the story times multiple story times if you did please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you're new and turn on that bell notification button to keep up with me nikki sign how you doing everybody and i will see you guys next time in my next video don't forget to do the nikki leg while you're getting that pussy <laughs>